I think Michael Jordan may have gotten finessed out of owning the Hornets by a member of the you-know-who community. Check this out. Michael Jordan, his Forbes evaluation is $2.1 billion. If he was making $400 million a year from selling Nikes, outside of all his other investments, he would be worth a hell of a lot more than $2.1 billion. His evaluation took a hit when the Hornets lost their evaluation. Please understand what I'm saying. The vast majority of Michael Jordan's net worth is actually the ownership of the Hornets. And that goes for a ton of other billionaires, Jerry Jones, whoever. So let's just say Michael Jordan owns 66% of the Hornets for easy math. That's two thirds of the Hornets. They're selling for 3 billion, he's getting 2 billion, right? So 2 billion worth plus the 100 million from Nike, that's 2.1 billion, that's his evaluation. Now enough of that math, let's get real. Two years ago, he made a terrible investment with Gabe Plotkin. By the way, that's a minority owner who's buying the damn Hornets. So he told Gabe, yo, go ahead and bet 500 million of my money, I got you. It was like a verbal IOU. And Plotkin went and put a ton of money into the stock market, somewhere around 4 billion, and they lost. But instead of going to Jordan and saying, give me that 500 million, Plotkin said, I don't got it. I don't have the 4 billion I just bet. So then this man right here, Ken Griffin from Citadel, worth 32 billion, the richest man in Chicago, bailed them out. So Griffin gives Plotkin about $4 billion. None of this is a secret. This was about eight months after their bad bet. He buys them out and covers their ass. But then he wants his money. He's here to collect. So Plotkin owes him. So now Plotkin pays him. But now Jordan owes Plotkin. It's a little, it's a trickle down effect. And Jordan don't got the money. Jordan made a bad bet. So he's got to sell his team to cover the bet. So he's selling to the guy he owes the money to. He's selling to his bookie. Now here's the thing. Plotkin used to work for Griffin. These are two multi-billionaires from Chicago, and they just fleeced Jordan out of ownership. And they're taking his team from him. Jordan just lost his seat at the big kids table. He can go make his millions with Nike, and you guys can say what you want. But this is a man who got into a world he couldn't keep up in. The world of billionaires. And he lost out, and he's out of the game. They fleeced him, bruh. Plotkin, if I can quote Malcolm X, he's that fox with the sheep, pretending to be their friend, pretending to be cool with Jordan. But the whole time... He has a devious plan to take everything from this man if the, everything goes wrong. He wasn't a wolf. He didn't show his true colors. And now Jordan's out of a team. No longer an owner. Those billions are going to be gone. He could have owned this team for eternity and maybe sold it 20 years from now. Or his kids could have had ownership. Much like the hand-me-downs from the NFL. But there will be no legacy in this regard. Two billionaires fleeced him and punked him for his team.